Trinidad and Tobago's coasts are very vulnerable and they must be protected in order to maintain its economic value. According to Natural Resources Lead Specialist Michelle Lamy, in 2015, 80% of the country's gross domestic product came from the coasts. She spoke on CTV's Good Morning Trinidad and Tobago and explained what needs to be done to prevent further erosion. Why is protecting the country's coastlines important? That's because most of your industrial activity, people live on the coast, mm -hmm. uh, your agriculture, your fisheries are located on the coast. Over the years, there have been an increase in natural disasters along the coastlines, hence the more urgent need for coastal protection. Over the last 10 years, there's been a five-fold increase in storm events, flooding and erosion compared to the previous decade. Um, that, uh, those, even though they're, they're not hurricanes, since Trinidad is not on the yeah. hurricane track, these small events create uh, sort of uh, constant erosion and flooding, and they damage your roads, they damage your uh, coastal properties. As such, she said the coastlines are very vulnerable, and to maintain value, integrated coastal zone management is used. It uses science, engineering, and regulation to ensure structures and measures are put in place to prevent erosion of the coastlines. She used the Manzanilla area as an example. Manzanilla Be Beach, which was uh, the repair of Manzanilla Be Beach, was a, um, a, a project of the Coastal Protection mm -hmm. Unit of the Department of Ministry and Works. They actually did the right thing. They did the, the science and then design the structures so that they can resist uh, different uh, levels or intensities of storms. Mm -hmm. um, and the combination of the science with the good coastal engineering is basically the way that things should be done. In recent years, Columbus Bay has retracted some 150 meters and lost six hectares of land. That, she said, is cause for concern. Rishi Harinanan, C News.